Hi, my name is BC Hoffman. And I am Judith Jones. And today on Recipe Wars, we are doing jambalaya. Jambalaya. Yeah, who are you doing? I'm doing John Besh's recipe for jambalaya. Each little town, each little, each mother has a different way of doing it. And we all cook the way that our mothers. So how did your mother cook? So let me so show you how she did it. <laughs> First you have to start with the pot, preferably a good cast iron pot. You have to use a little bit of pork fat. <laughs> and you probably just want you, well, this is rendered, this is just rendered, rendered bacon fat. fat. Okay. I'm super excited. John Besh is, everyone's like, oh, Narlin style, that's Embro Lagasse. No, that's John Besh all the way. He is a big fan of incorporating family as well as incorporating meals. He thinks that's an integral part of eating. Eat, family, conversation, and I agree fully. And that's how you have the best meals. And what I really love about this is as you viewers know, and as everyone else knows here, I am excited because this has every element of pig in it. I've got my sausage going right here, I've got my bacon going right here, and I've got my pork. And we aren't just using any pork, we're using pork tenderloin. So mm. I am a happy, happy this boy. This little piggy is very happy. And I'm happy too, because I'll be doing Emerald Legacy's version. Down in Gonzales, they have a jambalaya festival every year, and then these cooks go in and they cook this beautiful food of love, this jambalaya, and they're all different. In the city, you'll find a little bit more of the red, which is tomato-style jambalaya. See, because that Creole food is influenced from the French, Spanish, and black African cultures, influenced by the port, whereas in the Acadiana, or the country, or slang Cajun for so long, that's when the Acadians settled and moved in the, in the country of Louisiana in the late 1700s. So, is one spicier than the other? No, it all depends on the cook. And his calls for chicken and andouille, andouille sausage. Let me say that right. Uh, but <laughs> andouille sausage is great. Um, it's French. It's made of smoked pork meat, uh, garlic, spices, wine in there. Really, really nice. And it's going to be a nice addition to our Jambalaya. Oh. All right, so let's start. So I'm gonna get this going really quickly. I've got my heat going on my pot, so it's gonna be nice and hot. And then I'm just gonna throw in my bacon, render the fat, it's gonna take about three minutes. Um, calls for about a cup of bacon, um, but we're gonna go a little excessive because I love me some bacon. And I'm gonna put a little bit more because, and the real reason why is everyone on set will end up eating it and I'll end up with less bacon than normal. Okay, I'm lying. I'll eat it all and I'll end up with less bacon Just than I need the for the bacon recipe. in. Okay, it's put going the bacon in. in. And instead uh, of using baking fat, I will be using a little bit of olive oil, which I put in there. And to my olive oil, I'm gonna add my onions and my bell peppers. So let me just let that get hot in there. That's good. So um, this is about a half pound of bacon at home for you viewers. If you think it's a cup, a cup, half pound, about the same equivalent right there. Oh, So bacon. onion and bell pepper is in, and we're gonna add some salt. Get it seasoned. And we're gonna add some cayenne pepper here. Really nice little spice to put in there. Oh, I love how Emerald's dish has essence of Emerald in it already. Yeah. And we're gonna <laughs> let that cook for about 20 minutes until it gets a nice deep golden brown color. Oh man, that smells good. I'm gonna just jump into my pan right here and just coat myself in some of this bacon fat. So of course jambalaya comes from French, Spanish, and African cultures. And apparently the Spanish wanted to try and create paella in the new world, um, but they didn't have saffron. That was kind of, it wasn't available in the new world. So instead they used tomatoes or tomatoes and uh, and then, of course, all the French influence came from that, and jambalaya was created. And this is something so easy to make. I know it, it really is. If you, especially if you follow one of these two recipes, it's simple. All you're doing is you're cooking your rice right in there. I've got about three cups of Louisiana rice I'm throwing in here, and it's, it's simple. So yeah. I've got my bacon rendered. I'm throwing my onions in right now. 
And I've got literally one entire onion chopped up. I'm gonna just stir that around and we're gonna brown the bacon as well as the onions. This is gonna take approximately mm, five to 10 minutes now. Alrighty, so my bacon, as you can see, is nice and browned and so are my onions. And I am about to put in half of a bell pepper that I've chopped up, one celery stock that I have cut up, and one pound of my sausage going right in there. Now the sausage and the pork uh, I have already cooked up, so I don't have to worry about the cooking time on that. From this point on, I'm really just gonna cook the rice. So this is gonna take about three minutes just basically to heat it up, and then I'm gonna throw in the rice, the cayenne, the thyme, and the paprika. And what's really great about this recipe is you can really throw in anything you want. I mean, we're using you know, sausage, chicken, pork, but even shrimp works really great in there. Fish Add it stock. right at the end though, of course. Uh, you don't want to overcook it. Yeah, so you can really play with jambalaya, it's nice. Now, oh. my onions and bell peppers are browning nicely. They might need a couple more minutes there. And then we're gonna add in our sausage. Um, so we want to cook those for about 10 minutes in with that, stirring often. The beautiful thing, as soon as you jump in with that andouille sausage, the aroma is just going to waft through the room oh, yeah. and into your nostrils and dance in your tantalizing taste buds. It's going to be amazing. How poetic, PC. Wow. <laughs> Didn't know we had a, a poet in here. Only when it comes to pork sausage, bacon, and any other pork product for that matter. That's what the pig does to you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I've got one teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes going in, boom. I've got one teaspoon of smoked paprika going in, boom. You Knock sound like Emerald. In. No, he bam. would say bam, he bam. would say bam. Yeah. I'm changing it by not one letter. Not doing it, not doing it. <laughs> Two letters, actually. And then I've got one teaspoon of thyme going in. And on top of that, I've got three cups of uncooked rice. Uncooked rice, you're cooking it in here. Can't stress that enough. Throw that in, mix it all around, you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around and then you get a jambalaya. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? So our sausage has been in there for about 10 minutes, so now it's time to add in our chicken. So we're just gonna season our chicken with a little bit of salt and the remainder of our cayenne pepper. I mean, I would honestly use a little bit of paprika, maybe some other red spices that you have in the house if you wanted to do that. So we've cut our chicken into small pieces and we're just gonna add them to the pot right there. And we'll probably cook that for about 10, 15 minutes in with everything else. And at this point too, you can also add in your lovely bay leaves for that extra flavor. In they go. I am ready to add in pretty much everything else right now. So I've got five cups of chicken stock I'm gonna throw in there. I've got my heat increased all the way up. That's key right there. I'm gonna mix this around real quick. Uh, in case you're wondering why I had two, I had a four cup measuring cup and a one cup measuring cup right there. I couldn't fit five cups into one, so. Don't worry, I'm not adding extra ingredients in there. Um, on top of that, I've got one cup of, you can either use tomato sauce, you can use, in this case, uh, canned, stewed, chopped tomatoes. I'm gonna throw that in. Now I've got my green onions. I'm gonna save this. And I'm gonna throw my chopped green onions right in there. Scallions at home, ladies and gentlemen. You can totally use leeks. Whatever you wanna use, that's up to you. And then I've got my pork tenderloin. Oh, already cooked, going right in. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna crank this, let it boil, and then cover it for 18 minutes. Um, as soon as it comes to a boil, we're gonna reduce the heat slightly, let it simmer, cover for 18 minutes. And then we'll be ready to go with this amazing jambalaya. Now, just a heads up, for seasoning purposes. So once you've actually cooked it off, by all means, you're gonna add a little salt, a little pepper, and hot sauce. Use any popular hot sauce you want, whatever you like. You could even use sriracha if you want. That's a little extreme in my case. I would either go with Crystal or Tabasco or Louisiana hot sauce. Granted, Tabasco is a Louisiana style hot sauce. There's a bunch that you can go with. By all means, whatever your favorite is. Okay, so our chicken has been cooking for about 10 minutes, so now it's time to add in the rice. So we're just gonna add in, it in like this. 
And what we want to do... How do you add it in? <laughs> what we want to do is toast the rice before we add the water. So two to three minutes in there, mix it in with everything. Let it cook a little. Get that flavor coating that rice. Right. That looks good. And after about two to three minutes, we're going to add in our water. See, I don't like that. What don't you like? Are you hating? I am hating. Water? Water? Water. Why don't we add something with flavor, Emerald? Come on now, I buddy. I know, I know. So we're going to let that cook covered on a medium heat for about 30 to 35 minutes until all the water is absorbed. So mine already came to a boil. I turned it down, reduced it to a simmer, threw my lid on. It's going to take about 18 minutes to cook up, and then it will be nice, fluffy, delicious jambalaya the way it should be. Jamba, 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 jamba. Jam, jambalaya. So we just cleaned up, and we are ready to battle this out, recipe war style, over whose jambalaya is the winner. Uh, well, just by the looks of it, I like the color of yours. I like the color of mine as well. Very rich. Tabasco. Um, hmm, Hot I'm not, sauce. not sure if Emerald did me justice today. Water, stock. Yeah. Water, yeah. stock. Right. Uh, should we go with mine first? Yeah, let's do Emerald's first. All right. So the true test really on this one, because we already know the Andouille sausage is going to have a lot of flavor, so I'm going for the chicken mm. and the rice. It's good. A little bland. And we did actually doctor it up just a wee bit, so. It's a little bland. It's still really good though. I mean, it's like a nice little kind of hearty dish, but I'm not really getting too much flavor, you know? Yeah. Emerald, I'm not impressed, man. Mm. I'm not impressed. It's okay. It's decent ish, maybe. Yeah. That, I don't like it. All right, fair enough. I don't like it. Personally, okay. I wouldn't pay for that in a restaurant, and I'd be mad if I made that. Ooh, you're going to be getting some comments <laughs> on that one. Emerald's going to be like, what? Yeah, you know, whatever. Oh, this is Besh. We're going in for Besh. I'm going to smaller piece. I'm going to go for the uh, pork loin right there. Again, oh, same thing. Crazy. It's going to have less flavor, so I'm going to really test it with the pork loin. And... Mm. I mean, I... I seriously, I knew going in, before we even tried it, I was like, this, this recipe has all the ingredients for a victory. First off, it's besh. Second off, it's bacon. Third off, it's andouille sausage. Mm. Fourth off, it's pork tenderloin. Fifth off, it's hot sauce. And sixth off, it's chicken stock. I mean, he's got the recipe for victory all the way. I got the V right here. You're, it's true, you're right. Um, seventh off, you made it BC. Oh, that was the nicest thing I've ever said to you. <laughs> it's the only time she's gonna be nice to me, only I'm time. sure. Only time, uh, <laughs> The rice has a lot of flavor. Obviously, um, the, the pork, the bacon, the andouille sausage uh, tastes great. Yeah, you are a clear winner today, I have to say it. Yeah, I didn't like Emerald's <laughs> dish. I can't even. I can't even be you like yours was cl no. All yours right. wasn't even close. So yeah. the winner today is Besh all the way, without a doubt. And this runner up is Emerald Lagasse. I wouldn't even call him a runner up. <laughs> so that being said, perfect for cold weather dish right here. It's nice. It's hearty. It's warm. It's filling. It's jambalaya. Hey, jambalaya. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, my name is BC Hoffman, and I'm Judith Jones. Please subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. You keep watching and we'll keep cooking.